Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will discuss about your rights associated with patents. So what are the different rights are there for your patent? So as per the court of law, a patent owner has the right to decide who may or may not use your patent. So it's like what you want, okay? Like you have a product, okay? Whatever you want, you can do it with it. Complete rights you will be having okay so you can also decide whether a particular company has to use it or not you can also decide whether you can start a particular startup company with that you can also decide to sell it okay it's like you own it and you are the owner and when you are the owner you can do anything whatever it for example i let me explain you with one example that is Imagine you have a property, maybe home or a car or any kind of property, land, something like that. Now you own it, you have documents that you own it. When you own your car, home or land, okay, it's your wish. You can sell it to anyone you want or you can just keep it. Okay. So complete rights you will be having. So as per the code of law, patent owner has the rights to decide who may or may not use the patented image. Okay. You can also rent for it, right? You are a home, you can rent, right? So similarly, even patent also you can give it for a particular company for five years, then change it, then use it for five years with agreements, all those things you have to do okay just consider this ip rights as a ownership rights to you which is given to these new products or maybe the idea okay like i said value how you how you own the particular this thing no car for that there is a ownership documents right similarly for your car, uh, home or your this thing uh, land you have ownership documents similarly ownership document for your invention is given by the IPR okay I mean is called IPR that is intellectual property rights and once you want once you get that particular this thing okay that will be in the form of patent okay it will be form of trade secrets also that uh, which we discussed in the previous class okay so in other words a patent protection provided by the law states that the invention cannot be commercialized or you can say uh, without your consent they cannot go for commercialization you once you own the product in no company can commercialize it without your consent next it cannot be used no one can use it that particular product without your consent it cannot be distributed without your consent it has to have your what is it? Permission for all these things. Next, it cannot be imported or it cannot be sold by the others without the patent owner's consent. Okay. Once you want a product, you want it. Nobody can, you know, commercially use it or may uh, make it like a large scale production or industrial scale production at all. They cannot use it. They cannot distribute it. They can import it. They cannot sell it. All these things they can't do because you want it okay once you want it and it is yours no one can do anything on it now the patent owner may permit other parties to use the invention on mutually agreement agreed terms so for example i will sign with a particular company a then i will say that next five years this patent you can use it and commercialize it but i will be, should be getting 60 percent profit since i am the inventor whatever the profit you make 60 percent or one time sale you can do okay i will sell this patent for you for so and so money okay all these things will be this these are called mutually agreed terms will be there based on that you can make a non-disclosure uh, agreement and uh, you can go for this next as a matter of fact a patent rights are negative rights as the owner is restricted others from using the patent in many manner without his prior permission okay so definitely when you see the large picture what happens they look like a negative uh, rights it means you cannot uh, without the permission nobody can use your work 
the patent holder may choose to sue the infringing party to stop illegal use of the patent and also ask for the compensation for the unauthorized use. The patent holder, whoever it is, if imagine he finds someone is copying it, that itself is infringement. So, when somebody is copying it, manufacturing and distributed, all these things comes under infringement. Okay, if anyone they do this without the consent, it will be considered infringement. If the any party infringes his work, okay, in order to stop this particular illegal use of the patent, the patent holder can sue him. So in the sense he can file a case against the company or a person or anyone who is using his product or his uh, uh, patented products, devices or design or whatever it is. Okay. And also if at all imagine they have been using it for many months or years or days, then I can go for compensation. I can say that within one, one year my product could have earned so and so profit, so and so money, I want all that money with interest. Okay, So that is how the things work. You can go for the compensation and uh, actually the code of law will look into the matter and it will decide how much compensation you have to get from your this infringed, uh, whoever infringed your uh, patent. So always remember that the patent cannot be infringed without their permission. Okay. So they can legally fight and win against it. So next topic we are having enforcement of patent rights. I guess this also we will discuss in this topic only because very small topic. Enforcement. Now since we know that the law, the rights which are associated that is set up by the law. Okay. Or a court of law. Now enforcing this process or enforcing means to bring into action okay so enforcing is the process of ensuring compliance with laws regulations rules standards and social norms this is just a definition of enforcement if the laws are made they will be there in the books if it is not implemented so in, in order to implement laws maybe rules and regulations or a particular standards and social norms enforcement is must and the patent rights are usually enforced by the judicial courts okay who will enforce this uh, rights it will be done by the judicial courts that means if at all it is happening in india then case is registered in india something so in india only this particular patent rights based on the Indian uh, laws for uh, uh, what are the different laws are made for the patent rights only those things will be followed now the court of law has the authority to stop the patent imprisonment now the court of law will look into the matter and significant amount of uh, evidence if it gets that somebody copied somebody work and uh, the inventor complained it and it went to the court and the court will decide it will look into the matter and it will make sure that if at all the thing is copied, infringement has done, then court will stop. It will have complete authority to stop the patent infringement. So, however, the main responsibility for monitoring, what is the main responsibility of enforcement? To monitor, you need to monitor the whole entire process, you need to identify and you need to take action against the infringers of a patent okay lies within the patent owner understanding so all these things monitoring identifying if somebody is copying your work or not uh, monitoring all these things everything you need to uh, look into the matter and then you need to go for the court and then based on the uh, this thing uh, what you say the evidences the, the court of law will have the authority to stop that particular infringement. Understood? So that's it. The next topic is invention eligible for patenting that we will discuss in the next class.